There we go. Right. Let's back. And there we go. Game music. That's a helpful thing to have. All right. Uh, let's continue the game. Uh, I did pop in a little bit earlier because I wanted to just refresh myself with uh, the little training thing so I could remember how the hell the controls work, uh, which I have now done. So I think, if I recall correctly, I've done anything available cutscene-wise, so we are off to Northwich. Just as soon as I remember how to open the world map, there it is. Uh, off to Lost Wing. Where I'm sure everything is going to be totally, totally fine, and we're definitely we're going to go and sneak in to do this thing, so, and nothing's going to go wrong. Meeting in Northreach, and will I find Sid and Jill before this dame finds me? Ah, yes, the the dame that we heard about and don't know anything about yet. The boys finally cleared the road to Northreach, but there's no need to hurry, is there? I can think of a few reasons you might want to linger another night or two. Hello. I mean, the way that a lot of people online seem to have been reacting to Clive. Can you really blame her? Probably not. Do, do, oh, wait. Where's, where's Torval? Hey, Mac. Welcome, welcome. Where is, where's my dog? Torval, buddy. There he is. Most important thing to start with, we gotta we gotta pet the dog. Yes. Good boy. Good boy. I don't want to jump game, I want to pet pet Torval. There we go. There we go. Chocobo! Hi Chocobo. Is it safe to ride to Northreach now? I wouldn't say safe. But at least now, it's possible. So where's my chocobo? I want one. Clairview. Ah, there goes the sprint. Run, run, run. Oh, spooders. It's spooder time again. No more spooders. Hey, Panda, thank you very, very much for the resub. I appreciate that. Hope you're doing all right. Hey, dear game, you let me jump pretty much any time while you limit when and where I can pet the good, good boy. Please let me pet the doggo. Exactly. Priorities. And set all the spiders on fire. Fire, the appropriate reaction to spiders. Okay, yeah, just making sure I haven't got myself accidentally turned around. Wait, hold on. The map has a, uh, a little open area over there. That seems like something there might be treasure in. Or, you know, a dragon. That's fine too, I guess. my bits. Aha, dodge. Boom, boom, boom. Extreme down thrust. Wake up. 
could have been a nest of giant monster spiders. This is true. This is entirely true. That would have been worse. I realize I've got my limit break charge, so I may as well use it. There we go. And I saw there was a chest when I was fighting them. Where'd the chest go? There it is. Was this worth it? Let's find out. A griffin's head I've got an accessory, so maybe. What's the accessory do? Increases gouge by 15%. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Because this one also increases gouge by 15 So this can super... I wonder if that stacks. Let's try it. Oh wait, no, Griffin's head braiding. Oh no, that inc oh I misread that increases burning blade damage by seven percent, which I don't think I'm really using. So let's pop my badge of might back on. And all right, back to the path. Uh, where's the path? This way. Sorry, dragon, but you did try to eat me. So you know, that's fair, really. Potion. Joker pose. I want to. I want to ride you. Oh wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, a dragonette. Okay, so small, small dragons that apparently do not like me. I want to know where those chocobos went. I want to go and feed them and love them forever. There. Northreach. Where's our destination, I suppose? Pretty lake. Very pretty lake. Yeah. Oh, and I see a I see treasure over in the corner, so we'll grab that. Oh, I got stuck between two enemies. <laughs> Just be heat. Just straight up beat that one over there. It's like, nope, you're done. Field goal with the wolf. Alright. I see the chocobos. I see them. Hi, chocobos. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Hi. Hello. Can I just sort of walk up? Hi. Hello. Hi. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope, we're not fighting the chocobos. We're getting out of here. Torgo, let's go. I, I got too close. The chocobo was not having it. We are... Speak yep. of a but that was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south. Oh, right. Okay, not going to go and, and mess with the wild chocobos anymore. They do not like it. Good to know. Bacon. I'll screw you. Your your baked goods are probably shit anyway. Obelisk. Do you see anything you like? 
Yeah, birds. Jerks. I'll be here if you need me. Fruit's not getting any fresher. Saddled chocobo, that's different. We need to focus on the tamed chocobos. Be gone! The gate's for citizens, not serfs. Oh, fuck you too. With the right to confiscate any objects. Okay, so where is the day? Let's see, who else can I speak to? I think I saw somebody over the other side I could speak to. So let's go check out there. Not you, you're a jerk and you suck. Oh, you have very vibrant clothing on, so you yep. The, the sparkly purple dress. Like, that, that indicates somebody important. You actually have nice clothing. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the this is why Jill isn't here for this bit. Let us leave such. Impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. Exactly. Purple. There's a reason it's the royal color. Can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but... Why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. Murder. I seek murder. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Don't like this. That will do nicely, but I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Oh, Clive. Clive, 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 Clive. You say well. all from down here. You gonna buy something? Where's this gonna go? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already? But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. Royalists <laughs> do tend to be. Well, don't work yeah. him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. <sighs> Another fucking branded. Well, you're lucky you're with the dame. 
I could set you on fire. I could set you on fire. I got the free and Phoenix power now. I could double fire. It wasn't so bad. Double burn. It wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. Hello, Check Raiders. Hello, hello, hello. My best customers. We have an arrangement. As of course. Hello, Raiders. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. How are you doing? Hope everything's going well. Hope the rest of Valorant went well, Stephen. Who, as it says, does enjoy raiding nice people, and sometimes he raids me too. Uh, hope everyone's doing well. Hi, Sunflares. Welcome, welcome. Springleaf. Ahoy. Hello. Panda again. Jumping back around. Hello, hello, Stephen. I, I don't have a mug to clink today, I'm afraid, because it's too freaking hot, so I, I'll just clink the water bottle. Clink. I hope, the, hope the rest of the Valoranting went well. It's great having nice people to play with, you know? It is, it is. I, I can only, I mean, that's why, you know, the only times I have attempted Valorant at all has been with Steven. So, therefore, I have enjoyed it, because I had a nice person to play with. Hmm. Uh, if uh, anyone from Steven's raid does not know me, hi, hello, I am... Chris Kinnears, aka the Painting Pirate, he can pronouns, variety streamer slash miniature painter. Uh, currently playing some Final Fantasy 16, uh, which I have, have not been able to get to for a little bit, so we're picking things back up for about a third of the way through the game, according to my PS5 tells me. Um, does have a bunch of content warnings, so let me just do a quick uh, CW that. There you go. Uh, so if you are concerned about any of that, then... There, there's, the, there's the stuff. M-rated game. A little bit grimdark. But hey, DC, welcome in, welcome in. And yeah, as I said at the top of the stream, this is my final stream for a bit. Um, I'll be back on the 22nd, good, but I am uh, bopping out the way to, to go and do some uh, some potential ex some exploring for a potential move. So we'll be uh, off for a bit from stream. I'll still be around. Got to be working. I just, you know, with the day job, I just won't have my streaming set up. So that makes it a little difficult. So, um, but yeah, welcome. Uh, of course, if you've been with Stephen for a while, you know the deal. Stretch, hydrate, take care of yourselves. Um, Stephen, of course, if you need to raid and run or, or avoiding spoilers, if you intend to play this game yourself or not, uh, totally understand. Sahana, hello, hello. Welcome in. Good to see you. And the end. I think that largely covers everything, so yeah. Um, appreciate if you want to leave a lurk, that's totally fine. Lots of follows and lurkings are always, always appreciated. Um, especially of late, with all of social media collapsing, follows on the platform are really good, because the, the, uh, the go-live notifications are frequently the only way you have to know any of us alive, because Twitter certainly is not going to tell you. It's the sort of guy we know can cast magic and it's an armored escort for somebody important. Yeah, it's it's amazing the condescension and mental armor that privilege can give you. You and I. Now, On we go. If you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. So we have a new little town. Uh, I, I like the Iron Flagon as a name for a, a bar. I like that. I haven't seen you around the Vale of late. Oh, don't tell me you've grown tired of us. Uh, it's not that. The garrisons are being called back to the capital. We're to join the legions. We are currently on our way to try and infiltrate the holy capital. To so definitely not do a murder. We're definitely not going to go murder people. Mm -hmm. No murders. And if anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? 
That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome to the Vale. I like the little crescent decor. That's pretty nice. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Yeah, don't say that, Clive, because you know she's gonna... And I told you, it's Isabel. She's, she's gonna ask you to do stuff. You so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I began to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. They do seem to wind up on fire a lot. Oh. I also got big Rowena vibes from her Martimus. Yeah, the moment she appeared on screen, I'm like, that, that's a very, with her, like, the, the folded arms. Like, that's a very Rowena and hopefully pose. Enough to keep prying eyes from looking We're going to be in debt to her forever. Face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. Yeah, no matter what she asks you to do, it'll always wind up with you being a deeper in debt. I should probably start here. Oh, side quests. Oh, we got a bunch of side quests. Okay. Most important thing to start with. You like Pet that, doggo. You? Pet Torkoal. Alright, now we can go side quest. First one. Excuse me, you there? The gentleman with the sword? I am indeed the gentleman with the sword. I cannot help but notice you bear the moon and stars. So you are an associate of the day? S similar to how we got the hanged man from the other guy. You'll be rewarded, of course. I still wonder if there's a network of these I people. exactly what I'd be assisting. Oh, forgive me. I am Etienne. A humble merchant, though fortunate enough to count the dame among my acquaintances. I have business beyond these walls, but the guards have grown somewhat suspicious of my comings and goings of late. I was hoping someone might be kind enough to go in my stead. And who better than someone in the employ of the Vale's proprietress? Would you be willing to help a fellow in his hour of need? Yeah, why not? Why not? Marvellous. The task is simple enough. Pass through the gate and deliver packages to a few of my most valued clients. We're smuggling. We're definitely food. smuggling. A grocer, an apothecary, and a distiller. You need only mention that the items you carry are... fresh from the master's table. We're definitely Very smuggling. Dangerous, I hope. It's dangerous. Of not. Uh, merely trifles which folk beyond the checkpoint are keen to get their hands on. And though I cannot prevent you from peeking, I advise that you don't. Strongly advise. All right. Oh, let's go check our items. We are immediately going to peek. See, there's we got our curiosities. But this is a heavy purse. Every jounce and ocelot of this unexceptionable leather sack is accompanied by an eerily melodic tinkling. It is likely best ignored. So, we're we just delivering money? It's just money? It seems straightforward enough. Exactly, you have to peek now. You told us not to. Of course, we're going to. So, 
sergeant's got it in for us two. <laughs> Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? That's hey, you spa. Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But, I don't bloody believe That's it. Spa. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The Dane laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? Beat him up. Let's fight. <laughs> I dare say there's ways of finding out. Come on, let's how go. About it, Brandon? Care to show us how you earn that brooch? Yep. I'd Beat the crap out of them. No, do it, Clive. Oh, no doubt. Only chivalrous souls that we are. Robin and I need to know the dame's being properly looked after. Beat him up. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. <laughs> Fine. Oh, I guess I'll just kick just your so ass. You know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an unfair... Yeah, fire plus metal armor, yeah. I mean, I could fight you both at once. That's fine. You can throw down. I'll, I'll take you on both. Now, let's get the measure of you, shall we? If that's what you want. Let's go. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right. Let's be having you. Oh, it's getting oh, more dramatic. When you go crying to your mistress, tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Phrasing. Use all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Okay. You literally asked for it. What about you, Robin? You wanna go? Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Uh, let's go. Fine. Yep, come on then, Robin. Sword up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? Yep. Spread a bearer. Win the dame's favour anyway. By knowing when to hold my tongue for a start. Set you on fire. Give me what I, I'm lit. You're on fire. Boom. The soldier's bested. You think? We haven't done of that. Can I go now? Gregor's gash. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bulletin he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> at least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favor. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Hmm? You're pretty mouthy for dudes who I just absolutely stomped into the dirt. Just saying. All right. That's enough of them. So let's see what this quest is. What are you up to? I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. 
about what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. When you get that. As unlikely as it may seem, there are those within the upper echelons of Sambraquois society who find the Empire's treatment of bearers to be barbaric. All right. As well they should. But what do you want from me? Because it is. This town is carried upon the backs of its bearers, and yet many would see their servants starve. Not for the want of coin, simple fare costs little more than a pittance, but to revel in the suffering of others. A simple act of cruelty. Contemptible though it is, my countrymen would sooner cut off their noses to spite their faces than see their bearers fed. And despite my best attempts at secrecy, my efforts to dole out comestibles have been noticed. So first one, I'm smuggling it food. Me to my request. The brand upon your cheek affords you a certain freedom. A freedom I could sorely use. Fine. What do you need me to do? Oh, thank you. An extra meal may not seem like much, but it will make all the difference. Here. Deliver these, but keep them hidden. Quickly now. Okay, so we're smuggling. Definitely the not gill. Goes where the and the greatest. And today that happens to be the barracks. Three bearers, overworked and underfed, not permitted a moment's rest. It's no wonder so many die before their time. Tragic, true, but do not let anger make you careless. People will view this act of mercy as an undermining of the Empire's authority. Ah, oh, don't worry, we're going to throw, overthrow them anyway, so it'll be fine. And for the sake of those we feed. Oh, and when you're finished, a word in the ear of one of the dame's girls would be appreciated. You won't be staying, then? I'm afraid not. I am expected back in the capital, and have already risked much speaking with you this long. Right. Let's go drop off some this food. Curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Heard the bones fell by to you to start with. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Uh stab him. Yeah, friend of the people. All the time. I mean, I could always stab that guy and then come back, but, but just, you know, saying. I could make it worse. Oh, they're using a wind crystal to dry the laundry. I like that. You look like you need a rest. We were prepared by Matthew for three overworked underfed bearers employed in Northreach's garrison. Yeah, that's one of the oh, things I like I about this. the world building Thank is you. the use of just casual magic for here, mundane though. reasons. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Let's that one down. <laughs> He is still working on that asshole, so let's change. Where's the next one? Looks like it's over. Oh wait, is it still in there? Around this way somewhere. Oh. Ah, steps. Press destination nearby. Ah, in here maybe. Found him. I have something for you. Yeah, just casual magic is like just random things is is such a cool little world building thing, and I, I wish you saw it more often. Yeah. Standard everyday tech, like yeah. Chamberlain. Thank you. There's a wind crystal, like a hair dryer. Now. Please. Branded! Who told you to arrest? Stole those damn flames! Just a sword on him. And you! 
If you've got a message for me, out with it. If not, return to your post. All right, let's go see if now that first one is done, or do we? Need, is this a quest I need to do later? Yeah, it looks like he's still healing him. Oh wait, no. Now stuff's happening. Enough! Curse you! Get away from me! They, yeah, they are incredibly mean and terrible. Because you know the, so the game the needs to, re you know, you know good for you. establish the fact that you know slavery is bad. Yeah. Just in case that was an unclear point. The Chamberlain must have sent you. But alas, my work is far from over. Just in case you weren't sure. You need to rest. But I won't. I have wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? Then wait. As for my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway, I'd better head to the Vale. I mean, we, he would have less healing to do if we just stabbed him real good. That's the day done then. Let's go now deliver the totally legitimate goods. However do they get that color? There's nothing here for your kind, Branded. Go on now. Shoot. If I wasn't getting paid. Fresh from the master's table. Game should let me peek. Or just, you know, steal it. Why didn't you say so? I did. <laughs> Times are hard, but this here will make them less so, for a while at least. Sorry about the welcome, I meant nothing by it. You mm -hmm. wait right here. Hopefully legitimate goods was the name of my folder for LimeWire downloads, that's, that's good. Here. Yeah. You can tell Etienne I'm a man of my word. Alright, yeah, so what's Etienne getting out of this? Oroflam's finest. Just as promised. Okay. Yeah, he's he's a fence. Essence of Rose. Each one is from the finest. I have no business with branded. Oh well, fuck I have you. With you. A package. Fresh from the master's table. Let's see what we get I from do. the herbalist. Where is the merchant, Etienne? Somewhere the gate guards won't be paying him or his affairs any mind. Fine. Hand over the goods and be gone. This is lighter than usual. Branded, if I discover you have played me false, oh, I can always you. take it back. You will do no such thing. Your master should cut out your Tongue. Had you been the tool of any other man, I would see you clapped in a car a lot more than that from you. Take it and get out of my sight. You should try sampling some of your own stock herbalist. Those cigars are worth more than your life. Do be careful. Ah, soul. And liquor monger. Now. I don't sell to your kind, whether you have the coin or not. Where's your master anyway? Okay, just in case we really weren't clear on this point about how branded are treated, we've got to really drive it in. All right, quickly now, before the guards notice. <sighs> that is no burden off my back. And this is for Etienne. All this for a drink. 
Not just any drink. The very best. Specially distilled from our most discerning customers. The guards find that. They'll seize it before you can blink. You keep it well hidden. All right. Vetienne likes it. Tell him there's more where that came from. For a price. Of course. Of course. Oh. Keep it hidden, they say. Cigars and spirits. Time to go all Chris, uh, Christopher Walken oh, Pulp Fiction with it. How can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Skate any objects from the... Yeah, they keep saying they don't want to do business with Brandon. Yeah, how many times do you think they would be sent on grocery runs, right? All right, let's return to Etienne. Well then, I suppose you Ah, you have returned. I believe these are yours. Descriptions. After the leaves of the tabac plant are harvested, they are tried and cured for several moons to improve their flavor before being finely chopped and rolled inside a single uncut leaf. Though no other ingredients are added, the resulting cigars are possessed of the distinct aromas of vanilla, cherry, and clove. Oh, clove cigarettes. It is said that the petals of 20 roses are required to distill a single drop of fragrant rose oil. Brandy wine, a potent spirit made by distilling wine and then aging in barrels for several decades. As such, it remains a luxury, even for the aristocracy. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. And would she be pleased to learn what you had to exchange for those items? You mean the crystals? Ah, uh, it's crystals, coy, not Why not just gill or first place? cutlery. An honest man wears deception like shackles about his ankles. I couldn't risk you stumbling under the gaze of the guards. After all, we both know the punishment for dealing in unsanctioned crystals, even such morsels as I provide. And if you don't know what this day's work may have cost you, then, well, I dare say you'll sleep all the better for it. Crystal Black the market. Risk, our friends beyond the wall gladly give their finest and most treasured wares for the paltry crumbs I trade in. I didn't realize crystals were so scarce here. As scarce as chocobo teeth, hence the thriving market for even the scantest fragments. Do you think it vulgar that I profit from the hardship of others? I think you're doing what you I would, but they're kind of assholes, so you know, fuck them. Yeah, indeed. And I don't doubt the dame would agree. A reward for a job well done. I have the goods I was commissioned to gather, and the guards are none the wiser. I thank you. As will our mutual friend when she hears of how you have aided me. Like, fleece those arseholes all you want, they deserve it. Alright, let's go turn in that other side quest. And then we can get back to the main story. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Chocobos uh, do not have geese teeth, yes. Someone to help him, then. Confirmed. Just as well. I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people around here who seemed bothered by the way the Empire treats its bearers. Rare for one in his position. A fact not wasted on the dame. A little nudge from her is all it took, and he became the patron saint of Northreach's starving masses. My sisters and I may have lost an uncle, but bearers are being fed for a change, so we don't grumble. <laughs> Much. Glad to hear it. Gives you faith, though, doesn't it? To know there are people out there like him. And you? You mean not assholes? It's no wonder the dame's got a soft spot for you. <laughs> I better be going. Couple. All right, so that's the side quest knocked out. Back to the main story. Right, 
chat. You wear the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Hi, Prax. You have to help me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatien. She's still missing, then? Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatien was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother, as do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatien shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. Hello. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on. Uh, oh, gee, they were chambermates? I'm right. Told you share a bedchamber with Tatien. Did she say anything to you before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name, but I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gilly earned on Tatien and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatien was flattered at first, mm. but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. But the dame was so proud of her for how much she was bringing in. And she didn't want to let her down. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Creepy dude. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him, and you'll find her. Well, time to give him a few more scars. Seems a trip to the barracks is in order. Alright, time to go and feed somebody to Torgal. Is that closer than roommates? I mean, you won't assume so. They're very specific roommates yeah. with a very specific room. Heard the bones fell favorably. To the veil, then. I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Branded? Fuck off. Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame thanks you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. For moon, she's better than still. Alrighty. So it's the uh, very convenient quest that takes us the way we were going anyway. Clive. Yeah. Gloves are good friends, very good friends, roommates, chambermates, exactly. Oh, Tatian, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a the merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on travelling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is. But I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. Oh, unlike everywhere they else? They have little love for bearers. And they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor. More than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. Yeah, so, oh, a town where they treat bearers badly. What a new and unique situation.
Definitely haven't experienced that anywhere. There's, at least Oriflam is very, very pretty looking. Even if it is a literal ivory tower. Just, you know, all the more reason to go and stab people in it. How many bearers suffer to keep your granaries full? Oh, look at the pretty... It's one of the pretty parrot chocobos. We're not going to go near it, because that ended badly last time. But look at the sleepy chocobos. Tucking their heads under the wings. They're so cute. I keep, I keep a respectful distance. It would indeed look better on fire. I concur. That's enough for today, Branded. Let me... Ooh, hello. That tower over there looks interesting. I want to see what's up with that. Vulture. Nice and easy. I saw chocobos running around, so we're gonna go. Chocobos just hanging out, looking at the ocean. But you know, I gotta go and see what this place is. Let's make this quick. Fire. We're not going to question how I got seven gill off of a vulture. Or sharp fangs off of a vulture. That's almost more concern. Hey, Cypher. Welcome in, welcome in. An Imperial Watchtower. Should be well stopped. Let's raid it. Okay, now. Now we get to do murders. Yes. This is what we want. We get to be up the Imperial folks. You know what to do, boy. Set everything on fire. See, I'm very glad I came over here. In the butt. Great. And there we go. <laughs> Imperials look really good in red flames, indeed. Demon Tamer's Sash. Can I go inside? No. Well. Well, that it. Well, that's okay. The murder was its own reward. But let's see. What's the Sash do? That's actually a pretty nice upgrade. When slaying a demon merely returns its soul to the hell whence it came, until such a time as it is resummoned to inhabit a new host, Taming a demon is a much more effective means of dampening its evil influence on the corporeal plane. By luring and trapping the undying spirit of Hellspawn into accoutrements worn on one's person, one might also harness their power and channel a portion of it as one's own. So now my belt has a demon trapped in it. I'm sure that's, you know, totally fine and normal and not anything that could possibly go wrong. Give the chocobos a wide berth because I do not want them to attack me. Because the game will not make me attack chocobos. I refuse. I outright refuse to do it. Go on. Back to the 
Chaos spell, yep. Chaos. Up, the lot of you. There's still work to be done. Let me do murders. I can get away with it. Oh, hold on. Side quest time. You, Brandon, here now. You're late. What kept you? Late for what? Did they tell you nothing? A wild beast is savaging my boy. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Rescue him. All right. Where is he? My. I see they've sent me out branded with a spine for a change. He's over there you afterwards. towards the coast. Go and see that you kill the beast. As long as the belt doesn't start whispering to you. I mean, you know, it, it could be an excuse for all the murders they want to do. Danger. You didn't seem all that worried. Yeah, this no this feels like a trap. Here. I need to be careful. But this the wolf, it's going to eat me. Not if I can help it. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, you don't sound very very afraid child stay back I'll deal with this okay, well, at least this is like somebody's dog and this is about says take down car readers and I might this exactly you know but may maybe the belt is I mean the, the way that the people in this setting are the demons might be the better option I got 16, 16 gil, or X, or, uh, let's do with the experience thing. No! You weren't supposed to kill Wolfie, you were supposed to die! Fuck, ah! Why you whip for this? Bearers aren't supposed to win, they never win! Ah! What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. So they've, they've been, You're not okay. supposed to talk. Throw him off a cliff. Stop Cliff's right, right there. We were only having fun. Having fun. Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this. Okay, Joffrey. Throw him off a cliff, Clive. It's right there. You can say he fell. And yeah. The wolf's work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this before it happens again. You have a sword, Clive, just saying. You have a sword, there's a cliff. You can get rid of the bodies. And you know, they uh, we can even make it look like an accident. They were they were playing around with a rabid wolf. You know, just a, a little bit of stabbing, some bite marks from Torgal, and it'll look like their wolf turned on them. You know, we can even make it look like an accident. You, Brandy, come in. How dare you frighten my son? You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. Togo you second. are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See, I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Stab him. Go! Yep, emotional Some damage. The unlucky wretch you answer to. We're not gonna get uh, we're not we're not gonna get Isabel involved in this. That unlucky wretch would be me. I'm my own master. I'm beholden to no one. And I take orders from no one. 
Lies! Do you think I cannot see that brand on your face? Shut your mouth and listen. Those bearers you killed, they were people. They felt fear and pain, just as you do. We can make him feel a little you more. wish to share in their suffering, you would do well to remember we are not your playthings. You ignored the sword on my back, oh, right? scaring me. How dare you threaten us? How dare you? Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one? A better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. Yep, stabby stab. With saws powerful enough to nip this branded's head clean off his shoulders. Don't leave. Again, Cliff, right there. And throw the bodies. Oh, it, it. I'm wasting my time. But I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do, at least. Yeah, but... No, it seems like we don't do the thing that needs to do it. Yep. have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport. Which in this case is lots of stabbing and setting things on fire. Let me, let me stab the Tories, come on. Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it that none are left to the crows. Since you're here, can you give me a hand? Gladly. Let's put them to rest. Yeah, I mean, the sword, or you know, the fact that he can use fire magic and wind magic now. Got the power of three icons that I can throw around. We can take care of it. We can handle this. May their burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. And when it gets here, more bearers will die. Come on, we can murder fantasy can Nigel Farage. It'll be fine. To the slaughter. Simple. Because you are not them. Bearers are tools when they're needed, and toys when they're not. And if one breaks, well... You can always buy another. Still, such attitudes don't always go unpunished. Dog ate you. Of course not. Wolves kill. It's in their nature. Invite one into your home. It's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fed or not. Yeah, bye! I don't lack for fangs. I hope that wolf had a nice dinner. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less too murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. Yeah. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our past may cross again. Till then. And yeah, like no such thing as bad animals, only bad owners. Dash art. Yep, yeah, Schadenfreude. You see, now that wolf has, has had a nice meal and, you know, it's gone off to live its best happy wolf life. Burn the house down, that would be nice. But, alright, let's 
Let's see what this side quest is. Um, have you seen my Chloe? I let her out of her pen while I did my chores. But uh -oh. she hasn't come back yet. I think she's lost. Please, can you help me look for her? I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll try. Describe her to me. She has beautiful white hair. She lets me stroke her when I'm sad. She's ever such a good girl. So quiet and kind. Chloe's a bearer, isn't she? She likes walking in the wheat. Chloe's a bearer. I know the fields are big. But she's never got lost before. They're definitely setting this up to be like, oh no, this is a pet. Like, no. That's Chloe's a person. case. Let's not keep her waiting. I see what they're doing then. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. Yeah. They very, very clearly and deliberately did not establish what Chloe is. You work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because I'll burn you. The village asked me to find her pet, Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. Yeah. That girl's mm -hmm. old enough to know she should tie her pet up when she's finished yeah. playing with it. This is not being subtle. The windmill. Off with you now. I won't have idle branded underfoot. So everyone in this village also needs to die. Chloe. Ugh, more brown than white. You're not Chloe, are you, girl? Bubby. Is that? Yeah, where's Trogdor when you need him? So right? I mean, on the Bahamut. Oh. Uh, they don't mind the interruption. So is she dead or just starved? Yeah. Okay. Now she looks pretty dead. The crystal's curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. Okay, throw this child really off the cliff too. Favorite. None of the other Chloe's had pretty hair. Oh, uh, you're a hell child. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Burn them all down. She was to you. A plaything. Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's Curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. Don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. Dad said bearers don't have parents. Your dad's an asshole, child. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... I think you kind of lost the point there a bit toward the end, Clive. So what we need to do is we need to go beat up Hugo, get the power of Titan, and come back and send the entire village into the sea. I mean, pirates say throw this child of a cliff in the background. It's great. Look, this kid. Look, sometimes you just have to uh, Heihachi mission or a child. That's that's all I'm saying. Space. Hi Val. <laughs> yeah, you came in at a moment, Val. You came in at a moment.
Uh, is that all? I think that's all the side quests. dropping the field yesterday. If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, it's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. All right. Well, before we move on to the rest of wherever this is going to go, and again, hopefully it's going to involve a great deal of things being on fire. I have two icons. We can make it happen. Just saying. Um, I'm going to take a quick break. It's about an hour mark for the recording, so we'll be back with episode 10 of the playthrough. N more cathartic punching. Yes. Just cathartic stabbing. Just, yeah. Cathartic toggle biting people. You know, I just... Uh, but I'll be back in just a little bit, or on the YouTube over to the next episode, so we're back.